Hi, it's you again today, back with another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the PS2 emulator Android, which is the Daemon PS2 emulator. And when people said uh, the PS2 emulator was going to come to Android, people say, no way, not in 10 years. Well, actually, PS2 is available on Android now. Games don't play flawlessly. There is a lot of issues with a lot of games. And what I want to touch on is the issues that are, we are happening. So there's some of my games, Mortal Kombat, Shadow Monks, Final Fantasy VII, Guitar Hero 3, um, Gran Turismo 3, and I've got another game there as well. Actually, let's go into my games, it shows them all, yeah, and Crash Nitro Car. Now, this is the paid version. I mean, it wasn't cheap, it was eight pounds on Google Play. You can get the free version, which is also available. And someone asked me a question today about PS. As far as I'm aware, the PS2 engine is the is or the PS2 console, I should say. Is, they reckon it's one of the most hardest to emulate. And you, if you've played PCSX2, which is the PS2 Windows version, you know updates were never forthcoming. They were never frequent, as far as I'm aware, because. Even on the Windows version, you could be playing games and you have to constantly do setting changes or waiting for updates. And I think this would be exactly with this PS2 emulator. Now, it doesn't matter what settings you change, what settings you use. I think that's why developers take a long time with versions because it's something to do with like, you know, configuration, customization, optimization, uh, textures. I'm sure there and also trying to get it working on Android. Um, but to get so far, and what I'm going to do is today, I'm just going to go in a game, and I'm just going to boot it, so you can see, we'll go into Final Fantasy X, because this game does run, and we, if I'm just, yeah, if I just load it a minute, if I load it at, um, This bit here now I'm using the DU recorder so performance will uh, dip slightly so I'm just going to show you briefly so I want to go into there Played that now it says 60 fps you know clearly in that video we were not getting 60 fps there's a lot of configuration issues there uh, a lot of textures a lot of things they'd have to work on and not just final fantasy if you try playing games like um let's come out of here and let's go into another game let's go into gran turismo 3 brilliant game I can't wait till they get this fully working, but it could be one to two years. That's what I reckon one to two years, I reckon, before you get any. I would say it's not all about power. It's just the customization and configuration, all those kind of issues that they, they need to get around. Um... Thank you. 
Now it does, it might go through, it might crash. Um, it's only at 50 there because it's the PAL version. So, but as you saw there, it looked pretty good. Like any game, any PS2 game would run. Uh, looks pretty sharp, you know, you know, the options there. Um, I'm hoping this does. <laughs> As you can see, it's not going to go, so we're going to come out of there. But that looks promising. It does look, over a year ago, some of these games couldn't even be played. So the developers have done a really good job. So I would say my personal opinion, one to two years possibly for games. I mean, it would be well worth the wait for Gran Turismo 3 to be played on Android. I'm, I don't think power in terms of phones will make any difference. Phones are already powerful as they are now. So uh, the phone I'm using at the moment is a Samsung Galaxy S10 with the uh, Exynos 9820 chip. Now you can have the Snapdragon, you might get better FPS, but it, the developer, they've just got so much, there's rendering issues there, there's configuration, there's textures, all that kind of thing. So hopefully they do another update. I would like to see though, the Damon PS2, I would like him to see more updates no matter how small you do them. Like they Citra and um, like Citra does on Windows. They update nearly every day and Dolphin as well. Um, there's always constant updates even if it's just weekly. I like to see them do that. Whether it's just one game and they just say what the updates, what they're doing. Anything to utilize. I think the phone, the power is there. Especially with the phone I'm using. It's got 8 gig of, eight gig of um ddr4 low powered ram and it's got the the four cores um i think that's more than enough for this um so yeah i want to see exactly what they do uh mortal kombat is playable um guitar hero, rock guitar hero 3 and P ridge racer can't seem to get working properly um so yeah i think a year or two i'd like to see the developers though just give a little bit more um a little bit more of future updates no matter how small it is just let us know and um, more f uh, f uh, features and just let us do some configuration because i'm sure that's how emulators work is feedback so you get to test it out um that's how you you know uh emulators get more powerful but imagine that if they do get it right and you can play great uh, grand uh sorry like ridge racer 5 in grand theft auto 3 uh sorry grand turismo uh, grand theft auto 3 and grand turismo 3 that would be really cool. Now, if you're wondering about Tony Hawk's Pro Skate 3, I haven't got it on here because I've got it on. Um, it runs awesome on uh, the GameCube uh, emulator, or uh, sorry, the GameCube, which is the Dolphin emulator, and that runs flawless. So there is a couple of PS2 titles that have been ported to uh, other consoles, So, and um, other emulators do work. Um, other games do work on different emulators for Android, so 
that's just my thoughts. I've seen the PCS X2 on Windows with the same issue. Some games still don't even work properly today. So there's a long haul, but to be now where they are a year later, um, yeah, it's doing pretty good. Um, so I hope they just, that's just my thought. I just hope they just release a little bit more updates more sooner. And hopefully we should, you know, emulation on Android will just be insane. So hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, subscribe. And the emulator can be got on Google Play. Uh, that's all I've seen it. You can get the free version, uh, but it comes with ads. Or you can have the paid version, which has no ads. So uh, it's up to you. So, yeah. So I should see you soon. Bye for now.